I thought you were throwing it. It'd be a shame if I broke my finger. Right? <laughs> Welcome back, sports fans. I'm Chase Clem, and this is the Rockwood Sports Network. For the fourth week in a row, the Tigers hit the road and traveled to John Dillon Field to take on the Wartburg Bulldogs. The Bulldogs and Tigers come in to tonight's about winless in region play. With the win tonight, your Tigers secure a spot in the TSSAA state playoffs. Will the Tigers pound the Bulldogs? Tune into the post game. I'm Chase Clem. This is the Rockwood Sports Network. Miss our interview with Webb. Chase Clem here with the Rockwood Sports Network. Coach, sorry Michael Lindsay couldn't be here tonight. I'm filling in for him. Uh, you've been on fall break all week. I know that's a tough time with the kids out of school. How's that been for you? Well, it's been pretty good. You know, our kids have come in with a good attitude all week long, and you know they've worked hard, and um, you know hopefully you know they'll have their minds right and ready to play tonight. Coach, we were talking earlier, uh, kind of jokingly, uh, you're in long sleeve shirt, long sleeve pants. It's it's almost time to make that playoff push. Well, you know, it's about time. You know, we've, uh, you know, it's been brutal heat-wise all year long, and it's finally starting to cool off and become football weather and fall weather, you know, for that uh, matter. But, uh, you know, it's just a good time of year. We're glad to be here, and, you know, hopefully we'll continue to play well and, and get a little better as the year goes on. Coach, uh, throughout the season we've had players nicked up. Uh, with, with it being fall break, and have, you, have, have we been able to get some rest out of our guys and get them healed up? Well, not really. You know, fall break's one thing, you know, other than, yeah, they do get a little bit more rest, of course, you know, but not having to go to school. But, you know, as far as practice time, we've uh, kept it on the same schedule as we would any other year or any other week. And, uh, you know, they, again, they've come out and they've worked. We're starting to get some of these guys trickle back in, and hopefully, you know, we'll stay injury-free the rest of the year. Coach, this is a Wartburg team that's playing – a lot different than what we're used to seeing Wartburg play. They seem to be much improved. They're playing well. Uh, what are a few things we're going to have to do tonight to uh, secure a victory? Well, you know they are. They're playing playing pretty good football. Uh, you know their record really don't show what you know. They're kind of like us. Uh, you know we played pretty well at times this year as well. But um, you know these guys they they're going to throw the football around. You know we got to do a better a good a good job defensively getting in there where we're supposed to be and uh, hopefully be able to put them back in the huddle some tonight. All right, Coach, thanks for joining us. Good luck tonight. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Be 
they put it in a bear vacuum up and practice it. Now, I thought they had made it back. I oh, let the tradition go. It's not. Alright, just like I said out there in pregame, guys, I felt like we had a good week of practice. You know, it's spirited. I felt like you all understood exactly what we want you all to do. Okay? So as a coach, or coach is, that's all we can ask for, you know, when you're trying to prepare for a ball game. Now what we got to do is we have to take that from Fraxville this week out here on the game field. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay? Now, offense, we, you know, they're going to throw it around. They're going to throw it a bunch. More likely. They're going to complete a few passes. Y'all know that. We got to limit it, so guys, you know what our game plan is to limit the pass, make them have to try to run the football if they can, okay? Y'all know that. Y'all know what our game plan is. It's up to you all to go out and execute the game plan tonight. Now, we've talked all week long about, uh, you know, it's a playoff game, guys. This is a playoff game. No matter what happens or what has happened throughout the course of the season, you know, it's off or not when you make the playoffs because everybody starts over, right? Mm -hmm, sir. There's just a certain amount of people that make the playoffs. And you guys could be one of them. You know, we've been fortunate enough here to make it for, uh, I think, 10 consecutive years. We want to continue to make it. Tonight's the night we need to go make playoffs. Bottom line. Yes, sir. You know, I told you, even though we're both sitting here uh, winless in the district, you know, they've got to win tonight. We don't have to, but they have to win tonight. No if and buts about. All right, so the pressure's on them. So it's up for us to go out here tonight and just execute, play like we're capable of playing, and do the little things. You know, don't have stupid penalties. Protect the football. You know, all the little things that we talk about: being disciplined, playing hard. Will all equal to a win, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, for the last hour or so since I went out. And pull these pants out and this long sleeve shirt. I've been asked. I've been made fun of. Okay, because I put pants on, because you other guys know me. I don't wear them. Okay? The only time you'll see me wear them is this time of year. Because we make a playoff push right here, guys. Yes, sir. I'm making my playoff push. Alright? That's what I expect you guys to do tonight. Make your playoff push. I learned my lesson in 2009, being superstitious like I was back then. I about froze to death up in a quarterfinal game, wearing a short sleeve shirt and a pair of shorts. So from then on, it comes this point in time of year where I make my playoff push. That's where I start gearing up. Because we know the time it's over with, because we talked about it early August, that hey, you know, it, it's, it's hot as crap right now, but we want to be playing when it's Freezing cold outside. Okay? So here we are. We're getting to that point. Let's keep working. Let's keep playing. Yes, sir. Let's make the playoff push tonight. Okay? Yes, Go out there and execute. Do the little things. Okay? Another reason I wear them, because they usually can't fit in them until this time of year. You know? They fit pretty good right now. <laughs> I have to drop a few. My winter weight, don't we kill them? Yes, that winter weight. Now, this time of year, we all look good, right? Right. 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 So let's put a smile on our face. Let's grit our teeth when we have to. Let's go to the ball. Yes, sir! Yeah! Justice. Number 51, Robert Williams. And number 2, Caleb McCarty. And for the Tigers, number 12, Nate Brackett. Number 59, Micaiah Story. And number 2, Abe Gaskins. You're my visiting team. Why don't you call it loud enough for him to hear? Go ahead. Tails. He called it Tails. If I drop this, we're going to toss it again. That is a tail. You won the toss. We're going to defer. He wants to defer, give you the, you the, the ball this half, and your choice of which goal you want to defend. We're going to kick this way. He's going to swing around here. We'll let these guys know that Rockwood won and deferred. So Wartburg will receive on this end. Guys, bring out your teams. Let's play football. Enjoy it. There you go. Rockwood wins the toss and defers to the second half. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on.
Pass complete to number 11. Intended for number one. Fifteen Tyler Davis keeps it stopped on the play by number.
At the end of the first, Rockwood leads 14 to zero. Football fans, be sure to register for Pass for Cash at tonight's game. Hey Joe, Two fans will be right there, they're just waiting for you to blow up, and they're just running, running you and blocking down. down. Okay, so let's just get hands on it in Seattle at Roger. Right just set out on that side, because that's the side they're running the ball to. They've not run it to this other side at all. Right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the other side. Hey Kelly, get on that other side and give me a good three. Andy, how's your knee? Okay, okay. Good. Okay. Put that in the headlock over there. Wild up, come in. When I see you get in, especially. Hey, water, 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 water. Pass complete to number 20, Eisen Monroe. Thank 
Pass complete to number four, Colby Justin. Hey, shoot your right, Riz! Come on, come on, come on! 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 Come on, to number eight, Octavius Worthy. Touchdown, Tigers.
Are you skipping under and zoning that? Zoning that zone? Yeah. Okay. You got a scoop. If everybody knows, man, get a scoop on him. He ain't going to hurt us. Yeah, he's, he's a great job on 138 over here. That linebacker is over like 28. He's already shifted over. Let's go! Complete to number two. Timeout taken by the Tigers. Saying is, you hey, said eight goes deep. You know what I'm saying? You got a safety over the top of you. Come on up here and fly. About this last play, should have th threw it farth. Again, did your daddy play football? Yeah. Is he any good? Yeah. Okay.
number eight, Octavius Worthy on the carry. Brought down by number 52, Trevor Hill. That's completely number four, Kobe. <laughs> By number 56, Lucas Williams.
Number 50. If he going, he keeps vertical right there. Bracket completes to number four, Xavier Fickey. Touchdown. Hey, Red! What was that? Oh, whoa, oh, 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 oh
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Give me one. Go get him. Animal. Animal. Go, go, go. Number 15, Connor Davis keeps it. Let's go. 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 Let's go
the extra point. Number three, Michael Davis on the carry, stopped in the back. Good on, Briano! Come on, come on, A, come on, A, we're sucking in. Hey, hey get up! Pass to four. They never win yet. <laughs> Complete with number one. Pass intended for number two. Caleb McCarty is incomplete. Brings up third and nine. For the Pass intended for number 24, Owen Vespi is incomplete. Brings up. You know, we've, uh, they score points on people all year long. You know, the only one that they really haven't is Oneida. And you know how good defensively Oneida is. You know, uh, they're probably not going to score against Meg. I wouldn't think, though. They'll score against some, some right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, hey, guys. Uh, now, listen, we still got some unfinished business. You know, we started this a few weeks ago. We're going to finish this thing. Now, guys, do, do if you're asking me, are we in the playoffs? I'm saying yeah, but now the only thing that could possibly happen is if Wartburg beats Mexican. Which, no offense to them, you know what I'm saying. Um, so congratulations. All right. Now, we got a week coming up that we've needed for some time. You all know that as well <laughs> as I do. All right. Now what we've got to do is to get plenty of rest over the next week and do enough to just stay sharp. All right, my plan is come in on Monday. It'll be kind of like last Monday uh, with some of you older guys. We'll get on the bus. We'll come back up here and play a JV game on Monday. Okay. Uh, you're off on Tuesday. All right, completely off. I don't want to see you after the class on Tuesday. 
We will come in and work a little while on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Again, get some conditioning in, enough to stay sharp. We probably won't be there the whole two hours. Probably looking like spring practice time, whatever. Again, enough to stay sharp because we need to get some bruises healed up, whatever. All right? And then we'll be off on Fridays. All right? Fair enough? Yes, sir. I'll give you all a couple days off, and uh, we can rest and clear our mind a little bit. Come back home for senior night, homecoming. Yeah. Hey, hey, let me go ahead and say this. And when we get back, you younger guys playing JV, just hang everything up in your locker. Yeah, leave it there. Don't wash everything else. And, uh, you know, we'll have a good weekend. What do you say? Yeah! What the fuck? Just take the locker room. Got you. Okay. Here's Gavin Evans. We're going to play on And with a final score of 35 to nothing, your Aqua Tigers pick up their first region win of the season and secure a spot in the state football playoffs. The Tigers are off next week. Join us in two weeks back at Civitan Field for senior night and homecoming. It's sure to be a special night for the Rockwood Tigers. I'm Chase Clem. This is the Rockwood Sports Network.